Hello everyone, welcome to Little Sprout Storytime here at Clark County Public Library. This is our preschool ages three to five story time. Everyone's welcome to join in. And it's me, Miss Alyssa, coming at you once more. So, I've got some wonderful books that um, are really full of high letters for you um, because this is as simple as ABC because that's actually what we're talking about. Our alphabet, um, which I'm sure all of you kids out there are becoming quickly familiar with. Um, but it doesn't help that, you know, we learn even more about it. So our books today are being read with permission from Beach Lane, an imprint of Simon & Schuster, as well as Sleeping Bear Press, which is an imprint of Cherry Lake Press. So, our first story is one of my favorite classics, Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, by Bill Murray Jr. and John Archambault, illustrated by Lois Eller, uh, published uh, by Beach Lane, an imprint of Simon & Schuster. Chicka Chicka Boom Boom by Bill Murray Jr. and John Archambault, illustrated by Lois Elhurt. A told B and B told C, I'll meet you at the top of the coconut tree. B said D to E F G, I'll be you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka chicka boom boom, will there be enough room? Here comes H up the coconut tree. And I and J and tag along K, all on their way up the coconut tree. Chicka chicka boom boom, will there be enough room? Look who's coming, L M N O P. And Q R S. And TUV. Still more W and XYZ. The whole alphabet of the. Oh no! What's happening? Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. to the coconut tree. Mamas and papas and uncles and aunts hug their little ears, then dust their pants. Help us up, cried ABC. Next from the pile up, skin knee D and stub node E and patched up F. Then comes G all out of breath. H is tangled up with I. J and K are about to cry. L is knotted like a tie. M is looped and is stooped. O is twisted and al oop. Skit, scat, scoodle doo, flip, flop, flee. <gasps> Look who's coming. It's Black Eyed P. QRS and loose tooth T. Then UVW wiggle jiggle free. Last to come XYZ. And the sun goes down on the coconut tree. But chicka chicka boom boom. Look, there's a full moon. A is out of bed, and this is what he said. Dare, double dare, you can't catch me. I'll beat you to the top of the coconut tree. Chicka, chicka, boom, boom. Me and. That's a fun story. I've always liked that one. Um, but if you need this to be spelled out a bit more for you, I have a isn't for fox and isn't alphabet written by wendy 
Ulmer and illustrated by Laura Knott, published by Sleeping Bear Press, an imprint of Cherry Lake. Hey, isn't for Fox? Is that right? What letter does Fox start with? Yeah, that's an F, isn't it? That's not an A. A isn't for Fox and isn't alphabet. Written by Wendy Ulmer and illustrated by Lauren Cool. A isn't for a box. It isn't for fox. A is for ants that crawl over your socks. B isn't for kites. It isn't for light. B is for bats that fly by in the night. C isn't for an F. It isn't for math. C is for cats curled up on your lap. D isn't for a crow, it isn't for snow. D is for dragons from times long ago. E isn't for spoons, it isn't for moon. E is for elephants trumpeting tunes. F isn't for hogs, it isn't for dogs. F is for frogs flopping off logs. G isn't for mugs, it isn't for bugs. G is for geckos that hide on the rug. H isn't for rings, it isn't for strings. H is for hummingbirds with whirring wings. I isn't for dots, it isn't for knots. I is for iguana who loves a hot spot. J isn't for key, it isn't for knee. J is for jellyfish and surfing the sea. K isn't for rain, it isn't for train. K is for kangaroo on an Australian plane. L isn't for dramas, it isn't for mamas. L is for llamas in fuzzy pajamas. Hmm, just like our favorite llama, right? M isn't for rats, it isn't for bats. Moose is, M is for moose in a red checkered hat. N isn't for clown, it isn't for brown. N is for nuthatch who walks upside down. O isn't for docks, it isn't for rocks. O is for octopus knitting four pairs of socks. Ooh, how skilled. P isn't for goats, it isn't for boats. P is for possums in warm furry coats. Q isn't for towns, it isn't for frowns. Q is for queen bees with lopsided crowns. R isn't for ear, it isn't for year. R is for reindeer in backpacking gear. S isn't for chair, it isn't for bear. S is for salmon that leaps through the air. T isn't for pies, it isn't for flies. T is for turtles with purple bow ties. U isn't for teams, it isn't for streams. U is for unicorn that visits in dreams. V isn't for dove, it isn't for glove. B is for vultures that watch from above. W isn't for door, it isn't for snore. W is for woodpecker whose bill is quite sore. X isn't for Z, C's, it isn't for peas. X is for xenops in rainforest trees. Probably haven't heard that one before. Y isn't for fairy, it isn't for dairy. Y is for yaks, chocolate brown and so hairy. Z isn't for pipes, it isn't for wipes. Z is for zebra with zigzaggy stripes. The end. I'm sure you knew all, you all knew right away that those weren't right. But then we got it, right? Okay, so. I'm sure you know what song we're doing today. The good old ABC song. Um, we're gonna do this twice. Um, 
if you're not quite sure what to do, listen the first time, but then make sure you say it the second time, okay? Okay, let's go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Ready? All right, make sure you sing with me this time. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Yay! If you really want a hard version, try singing your alphabet backwards. I can do it, but I'm not gonna do it right at the moment because I wanna show you my lovely craft. Okay, so you will probably want your big person. Um, you can use any kind of paper and you can do it like any size. Um, and you can have them write down the letters. Um, and then you can trace them with your finger so you can figure out, or you can have a big piece of string or a ton of little strings and you use it to trace over your letters so that way you can feel how they're supposed to be shaped. Um, there's a ton of other ways you can practice your alphabet. Um, like some people they do glue art with glitter um, or they trace it in like sand or something else soft or play-doh. Um, either way Good ways to practice your ABC. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.